Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to the vlog. I really wanted to film a little morning in my life. I have been loving these so, so much. One of my dearest friends on YouTube, Jenna, she films a lot of like early morning, morning in my life, morning routine style videos, and they're just so productive and inspiring, and I love them, so I wanted to film one. So, yeah, and then also one of my favorite YouTubers, Sophia. I never know how to say her name, Queer Kiss. Um, she films a lot of morning in my life videos, and I just love them. There's something like something about mornings that are so extra peaceful and calm and relaxing and just a little bit of me time so it's currently seven i just woke up i have a really exciting home decor haul for you guys today it's my first one for the new house so i'm really excited to show you guys the pieces that i got and yeah but let's go downstairs and make a coffee i want to show you guys how you can make the brown sugar shaken oat espresso at home it's super super easy and you guys probably have everything you need so let's go downstairs and make a coffee and have a great morning Probably have seen everyone and their mom talk about the new Starbucks brown sugar oat shaken espresso Which is basically just an Americano with some brown sugar in it. It's so so yummy though I love it too and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today or how I make it at home Because this is just stuff that everyone would have um, You can definitely make it with actual like brown sugar syrup, which I will link for you guys You can just get that from like a online coffee store um, Or you can turn this into syrup by mixing it with some water and putting it over like low heat until it simmers But I think these ways to just add brown sugar in um and this is just all stuff everyone has at home obviously you can customize it to whatever you prefer if you don't like oat milk and you like cashew milk or if you like almond milk or if you like dairy milk substitute it for whatever you want um and the same thing goes for the espresso i'm just doing a double shot but um i know some people have said like it's too strong for them because they don't usually drink americanos and i do so it doesn't really bother me but if you prefer to make this with cold brew then go for it the only important thing is that you mix your cold with your brown sugar and you shake it really. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. And yeah, you guys love the coffee segment in the last vlog. So I'm going to try and include more for you guys. So I'm going to brew this. And I just try and do it in something that has a lid because I'm going to shake it. But you can totally just do it in like a shaker bottle or whatever you have. Mason jar. I just feel like it's something that like everyone has nowadays. tired that I forgot the first step which is putting the brown sugar in the bottom so it dissolves but I guess it doesn't really matter if I do it like now or then because it's still hot you can obviously just add as much or as little as you want I mean I'm literally putting this much in because I don't like sweet coffee but you can add probably closer to like a tablespoon if you're someone who likes sweet coffee and then fill this with ice Really just shake it until it's like frothy. See how it's like all frothy now? Now the only thing is I don't know if this is like a true Americano where you add water to it or if you just add milk which basically just makes it like a latte but i'm gonna water it down because that's what you're supposed to do with americano but if you don't want to then that's okay you could just probably add the rest with milk or ice and then i just like to transfer it to like a nicer looking container added my water to it that is like a true americano and then i'm just adding oat milk this is the only one that we have it's not the best but it'll do Wow, look how frothy that is. And then I'm just adding some oat milk. And there we go. That That's it at home. Like I said, it's very customizable to what you like, but yay, coffee. I'm so excited. I decided to come upstairs. I was just kind of like in the mood to sit in my bed. And this is what I mean by like every morning routine is totally different for me. I just do whatever makes me happy that day. So I have my coffee and i'm currently reading burnout the secret to unlocking the stress cycle it's really really good so far and then i'll also show you guys some of the other kindle books i've been reading um so i'll probably just answer some work emails too so that's what we're gonna do for a little bit and then we'll see where the morning takes us <laughs>
finish up everything I had to do. I invoiced some brands, I replied to some emails, just did some work on my computer, and now I'm gonna get dressed and get ready for the day. Um, I wanna show you guys some home decor pieces. I'm super excited about them, and I finally got my first little batch. I've still been like trying to decide what I wanna do with home decor, if I wanna like buy it all at once or buy it little by little, and I think buying it little by little is like the smartest way financially, so I'm not just like dropping hundreds of dollars at once. So let's put on some clothes. And I'm going to show you guys everything that I got so far. It's not huge, but it's still like a fun little haul to show you guys. Guys, I just got dressed and I wanted to show you guys some of the home decor that we got. I'm super excited because Opposite Wall actually sent us over a bunch of prints, which is so, so exciting and so nice. They actually also sent me a discount code for you guys, 25. And you guys can use that to get 25% off on their website. And if you guys don't know what Opposite Wall is, it's a Montreal-based home decor print company. They have something for everyone. They seriously have the cutest home decor prints. I'll show you guys the ones that they sent over for us. We haven't put them up in the house yet just because we're about to move in like a month. So um, I'll show you guys the prints. They're so, so cute. Like I said, they have something for everyone. They have like minimalistic outlines. They have quotes. They have travel. They have kitchen ones. They literally have something for everybody. I just love it so, so. I also have a super cool feature on their website if you want to make like a gallery wall. I feel like gallery walls are the cutest thing ever, especially in like an office or a living room situation. Um, so I'm really, really excited and I'll show you guys that on their website. So this is how you can make your DIY gallery wall. And they have like the poster duo, the poster trio, which is three different sizes or the number one number two i love this one number three i love it so so much so they basically will give you the size pictures that you're going to want and this is just such a good like visual representation of what to get um so they give you all the different kinds and then you will go and pick out your prints so what i did is i just kind of like wrote down the frames that i wanted and then you can go in and pick your posters out so they have anyways i want to show you guys some of the pieces that they sent over to us and then I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff that we got. Gallery wall with like traveling and also being home. So I got these two pieces. So the first one is just like a little Ottawa print. I think it's super cute. Love it. And then I also got this one that says home sweet home on it. And I thought that these would be cute with this little guy, which is like a little constellation, which you guys know Matt loves space. So I thought this would be a cute little like trio. So cute. And then we got this really big one for the bathroom which just says get naked on it. And obviously we're gonna put this up in the new house and it's gonna look so, so cute. And then you guys have probably seen the other two, which are the ones that I currently have in my office. And I'll show you guys those ones really quick. Two ones in my office and I love them so, 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 so much. I really wanna make a gallery wall in my new office with these and some other pieces as well. And like I said, they were super kind and gave me a discount code for 25% off of your order, which is great. We love to support Canadian local companies and I just really love the concept and how they really help you pick out a gallery wall, especially if you're unfamiliar with it because I see them all over Pinterest. Yeah, I never really know where to start with them. So love them so much. Thank you guys for sending me these products. I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait for you guys to see what they look like in the new house. And then I went to Marshall's yesterday. I had to return some stuff like pre- lockdown so like pre-december for us and then i just picked up two little things um a lot of like actual decor pieces like signs and whatnot we're gonna wait to get until we move in just because we don't really know the vibe that we're gonna go with for the reno and like i feel like we're gonna get home decor for the house and then it's like all gonna change style wise when we do the renovation so i'm kind of just trying to wait off and just use what we have for now but there are like little things that we do need to get like new plates and glasses and stuff like that so i got some new wine glasses um I had made a huge Amazon wish list, but guys, Marshalls and like Home Science is so much cheaper. These four stemless wine glasses for $9.99. And they're just so unique looking. I'll take one out to show you guys. But I just like love the style of them. They're so unique looking and cute. And since we really want to do more of like a white and black, like modern kind of boho theme, I just got this little pet bowl mat because. Stella's Pet Bowl mat is from Christmas and I haven't taken it off yet. So I just got this one. It's just like really pretty and I feel like it'll go with most kitchen themes that we end up renovating to. So I just got this and I thought it was super cute. So that's actually all I got so far. Um, we'll let you guys know if we get anything else. I am headed out today. I'm actually going to film a weekend vlog after this. So if I get any more home decor, maybe I'll show you guys afterwards. But that is all I got for the home decor so far. I am so excited to put these new prints up. I have like so many great aspirations i'm gonna put a picture in here of what we want to do with the bathroom because i think the get naked sign would look so so cute in here so i'm gonna put a picture in of what we want to do with the bathroom and yeah so much fun but i 
really want another coffee so badly um like really really badly but i'm not gonna do it but it's currently eight i'm heading out to get coffee with chloe at 10 so i'm gonna start getting ready soon but i'm just gonna like relax for a little bit i think and edit and whatnot so that is that for now i'm wearing my cute shirt i love it i just like love how simple it is but yet it's like bridgerton vibes um so i am going to probably just get some more computer work done and stuff and i will check in with you guys in a little bit my friend victoria told me that disney plus has like a new loop on for disneyland paris so i'm gonna try and find it because you guys know i'm a sucker for like disney loop and it was like oh Oh my god, wow, they have like firework shows. How cool is that? Okay, let's watch Shang. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I hope they put Happily Ever After on here. That would be great. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody. I figured I would take you guys through my everyday makeup because you guys always ask me, hello Stella, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna do my everyday five minute makeup. Very easy and simple. Beauty Blender, which she's already been high. You want me to do your makeup too? Do you want me to do your makeup? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. You're just so cuddly today. Oh, she's a cuddly girl. Oh my gosh, that was the biggest yard in the world. Oh, are you going to sit with Mama when she does her makeup? The thing we're going to do is moisturize. And I really switch up my moisturizer based on the day. This is the Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective one. I have the Tula 24-7 Moisture and then the e.l.f. Hello Hydration, and, like, it really depends on the day. Today I'm going to do Hero, um, and, and so I need to moisturize my skin. Sometimes I double moisturize. Oh, I let that soak in a little bit, and I'm, yeah, let me know if you guys have a good <laughs> drugstore, um, primer, because <laughs> I'm looking for one. I'm just using up this one. It's just the Tula face filler one makes your skin like tan it's super weird okay look you guys see that it like turns your skin like tan you can't lick the primer stella Depending on the coverage i'm going for it depends i usually just wear bb cream honestly and then i just put like a little foundation on my acne so these are the two i really really like i really like this one i actually did a brand deal with them like a year ago and i still use it they send me stuff all the time i love it and then i don't like using concealer i know it's weird but i don't like using concealer this is like the most full coverage foundation in the world and i just use that on my acne it's me and when you put makeup on your acne gets better because you're not touching your face or is that just me because my skin clears up so fast when i actually put makeup on because i'm not are these making funny smells is that why you're so interested stella uh, to all the people that tell me I have like chronically chapped lips like I'm very aware there's just nothing that fixes my lips can I help you ma'am okay okay well apparently this is still in Carter makeup time and then I just take my little foundation put it on like any problem areas I have and then we just we just dab it in um, I don't really know if this kabuki brush is from elf maybe and then I also just use the elf I just use this elf powder I don't know and then I just put it on like the spots wear like i wear a mask because i know i'm gonna go out today and for like a full coverage like glam like photo shoot then i'll do bronzer and i just use this elf one it's called i think forever sun kissed and then i also use this um highlighter which is the best and this is in abeline brow pencil and the whole name has come off of it so that's that oh my god and then i just you know brush these up and you can tell like fun fact these are my natural eyebrows like they're just very very skinny i don't even pluck them or anything they're just like this so i'm gonna go ahead and fill these in but i have to look in the mirror to do that it needs to be added and i just just use the Too faced better than sex mascara and that's really it that's all that's all folks and that's it my everyday makeup hope you guys enjoyed you guys have been wanting to see this so here we are everyday makeup let's get it <laughs>